According to court documents containing the testimony of Detective Rick Seckley, the day Kelly Stapleton allegedly intended to kill herself and her daughter Isabel began with a promise. Seckley says that Kelly was able to lure her daughter into the situation by telling her that they were going to go camping and cook some s'mores. According to Seckley, Kelly also gave her four of the pills that Isabel normally takes to help with sleep and her autism. Court documents show that Isabel usually only took two and a half pills a day. Once Isabel was asleep in the family van in a wooded area in Benzie County, Seckley says that Kelly then moved the charcoal grills into the vehicle, got in, and closed the doors and windows. Court documents suggest that Kelly got out of the van several times to put more charcoal on the grill. Seckley explains that because the doors were open periodically, that it could be the reason Kelly and Isabel are still alive. Seckley went on to testify that Kelly made statements saying that she intended to kill her daughter and commit suicide and that it was because of the years of frustration with their daughter's autism and behavior. Seckley reported that Isabel suffers from violent tendencies related to her autism and that Kelly made statements about being at her wit's end and felt that the best solution for their family would be if Izzy and her went to heaven.